Hey, hey everybody, Atomic Crafter here. Welcome back. So uh, you can see here that uh, we're in the hallway for my pumpkin and melon farm, and uh, it's been doing pretty good. Let me uh, show you what we got going on here. So I, I fixed up the walls and stuff. I've still got the ceiling to do, uh, but we've got a few pumpkins in here, and uh, we do have more melons, but that's because they come by the slice. And I've got some pumpkins, or sorry, melons in here. And then I've moved some, some farmers in here. I've got, uh, I think it's five. I've got room for three more. And then back in here, I'm going to put a little room uh, for a micro uh, farm to get uh, potatoes and carrots and probably wheat as well. And uh, I have been doing some trading with these guys, and I've got this much already. So uh, this is working out really well. I'm quite enjoying it. And this uh, uh, stack here of chests and hoppers and whatnot, uh, it's not efficient. <laughs> it's just for show. Uh, but the majority of it should be empty anyway, uh, unless I sit, let it sit here for a really long time. So today what we're going to do is, you can see on my bar here, I've got some uh, sandstone. And actually I've got an entire inventory of it. So... Uh, over by the, uh, um, oh, what is it called? Wow, I can't think of what it's called. Over by the stronghold, uh, I built a, a, another building that, that I'm going to put up, or I put up some, some st base structure, I guess you could say. And uh, what we're going to do over there is build... Uh, kind of a seed storage area. It's going to be, you know, a uh, post-apocalyptic type construction. Well, I mean, that's what it's for. Uh, that goes to the iron farm. <laughs> I had to think about what that was for. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're going to go over there today. I did find a place. I've put up, like I say, a, a, a base to build on. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. And we're using sandstone. I'm basically going to build one of those Sam temples uh, in this location. And then uh, down below it, I'm going to build um, basically like a giant cavern. I mean, it'll probably be maybe 10 wide at most. And then it'll probably go all the way down to bedrock. And on e all the sides, uh, or on both sides, um, you're going to have chests. And they're not going to be uh, end to end. They're going to be side by side all the way through both sides and I'll probably put in a lot of decoration and whatnot and it's just gonna be for for show really uh, but what it is is as I've said in the past I'm a hoarder <laughs> and uh, so I, I hoard a lot of stuff here but I want to go make sure he fell in there yeah um, I uh, want to basically have one large chest for every item in game that can go in a chest. And sun's going down, so I'm going to sleep real quick here. I did bring a bed because I need a bed over there. And I took a lot of screenshots <laughs> of a sand temple so that I knew how to build it. So let's get up here a ways. Um, I actually might go up here because I can get a little bit more height. It's always scary going up next to this lava. Uh, don't burn to death, don't burn to death. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. So uh, it's off in that direction, and I think I can find it. So let's fly over there. And you'll see once we get kind of close, you'll see what I've built already. And actually, it'll probably be coming up here pretty quick. I think. Let's see. I built it in Extreme Hills, 
and I didn't want it close to my base. I wanted it to be something that I had to travel a ways to get to. Here we go, here we go. Well, let me come over here and give you a little better shot of it as we come up to it. So there it is. That's the structure that I've built so far. And I'm thinking it's looking pretty cool, to be honest with you. Oh, and there's llamas over here. Yeah, there's a bunch right there. There we go. That's what I wanted. <clears throat> Alright, so I did build a portal over here, but I, I wanted to take the flight just to show you in comparison to where it was with the stronghold. And here's Llama. This is the Llama Mama. There's one over there. And of course now they're not going to make any noise. They're tall Hello. too. Hi. How are you? Don't spit at me. They're pretty friendly. I don't know whether I've tamed this one yet or not. Oh, sorry. I forgot. You got to be a uh, an empty hand. Here we go. I got an empty hand. Nope, this one doesn't like me yet. I don't have any carpet. Oh, yeah. Empty hand. Thanks for telling me. Uh-oh. Yeah, and some of these edges are pretty... pretty, uh... <laughs> treacherous. This one over here is insane. That one goes down quite the ways, but I wasn't going to fill it in. I was just going to leave it like that. This is just the structure, or the, the base, basically, for the structure that I'm going to build. And uh, I thought it was a nice place to have a sand temple, especially since there isn't really any sand. There is an ocean over here, so it, it's kind of one of those things where I guess they could have you know, taken all this stuff from the ocean or whatever. Nice little pool right there. But uh, I built the, the base out of stone. Uh, that seemed most appropriate. And then I'm going to build the rest of this out of sandstone and uh, all, all of its little bits and pieces. Can you get out of there? You might want to get out of there. Yeah, okay. Um, and this is going to go... Let's see. This first one should go, I think it's right here. And that's where the base is going to start for the sand temple. Now, this isn't this part isn't going to be sand temple. It's just going to be kind of a pyramid going up to the sand temple. Uh, the sand temple that I'm going to make is going to be the same size as a regular sand temple. So it will take me a while to get up to that point. So basically I got to do that all the way around until I get up to uh, 21 blocks across and then that's where the temple will start. Right now that is 40, let's see, 39 blocks across so I've got to go up a little ways. So let me do that and when I get to the where the base of the sand temple will start, uh, we'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so uh, this is what we've got so far. Um, I think it looks pretty good. It, it's accurate to scale and whatnot. I mean, I'm just exactly building it the way it's built when you find it naturally in the desert. But uh, I had to bring the base up to match that size. And, excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, I was talking to you. What? Nothing. Okay. So, um, I need some more, uh, well, I need some orange clay. I believe it is that goes inside these little things and then around the top there uh, in those two little holes there and also on the sides and stuff so I'm gonna go gather that stuff up I don't have any of that uh, I don't have a Mesa biome yet um, I was hoping I would run across one uh, while I was out flying around but uh, I haven't run across one I did in fact though I did run across an uh, ice spikes biome uh, way off in the distance. I don't even know where. <laughs> My base I know is like that way, but I don't know which way 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. Ice Spikes was maybe that way. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so anyway, I got to go back and get some of that clay. Uh, this was becoming a death trap down in here. So I threw some torches down and brought my chest and all my bed and other stuff out here so that it'd be a little safer. Uh, but I think this is going to look pretty cool. And I did face it to the rising sun. Uh, so I thought that was the, the most appropriate way. I don't know whether the ones in the deserts face a particular way or not. Um, but this one's going to face east. So that'll be pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that's all I can think about at the moment. <laughs> I, uh, I was trying not to die here. It was getting pretty pretty brutal there for a little while with this being so dark down in here. I mean, you can see it's just pitch black down there. And even there's a couple of skeletons right there waiting for me to make a mistake. So, so yeah. I'm uh, going to go back, find some clay somewhere, maybe even have to dig it up out of the, uh, out of the rivers and stuff, and then change the color. But, uh, yeah, we're doing good moving right along and I think it looks good and then the uh, setting sun in the background with a llama yay <laughs> all right guys we'll see you back here shortly all right guys so I've got the uh, clay that we need and uh, we're coming back into the temple here just kind of checking it out I think it looks pretty cool there a lot of mobs running around. I'll have to be careful here. <laughs> nice having a deep, dark edge over there on the side. They just keep coming. Okay. Put some of this orange clay in right here and here. I think it goes, yeah, here and here. Oop, not there. And here and here. Now let me go around and get on top if I can here. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, I can fill in these guys. All right. Looking good. Okay. Well, everything is done now. So uh, this thing looks pretty doggone good. Let's uh, take a walk over here. And like I say, it's, it's built one-to-one -one, uh, as far as what an actual uh, sand, uh, uh, sand temple looks like. So I think it looks pretty good. This was difficult. Uh, I had to figure out how they did the stairs in here, but uh, I got it figured out. Here's the uh, upper layer here, and then that's outside on top of the roof. And then down into there. Uh, again <laughs> and but yeah this is this is what they look like so I do have uh, a bunch of torches strategically placed so I've got uh, eight in here total there's three here and then there's one back there and then another four on this side so that when you walk in here uh, it's lit up 
but you actually don't see any torches. I've got some you see right down there and down there as well. Uh, but when you first walk in, you can't see any torches, but you, it's all lit up. So I like that. I like that a lot. And it doesn't matter whether you see the torches or not. That's fine. Uh, it's just that first view of coming through the doorway that, that I was going for. And I think it turned out well. The next thing I've got to figure out is uh, basically I'm going to either have a drop chute or a ladder. I don't think I'll have an elevator. Um going down to the archives and I'm thinking I might do something over here um, I could put a button here that would activate stuff underneath this floor and it would open up maybe maybe what I could do is if I'm standing here hmm, it might almost work better over here because I can hide a little bit more behind that wall. See, this wall does, has another row behind it, where this wall over here doesn't, which means there is actually another space back behind there. Uh, but but the temple that I have was identical to this one, so this is what I built. So I'm wondering if I put a button somewhere. You know, I, I'm still thinking maybe over here. Uh, I'll put a button there, and this will pull down and then pull out to the side, and I can drop down maybe like on a slime block or something. And then I just got to figure out a different way to come out. Or, you know, I don't know, maybe I can do the same thing opposite. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's one of the things I am going to have to work on. But let me show you what it looks like down there. It's completely scary <laughs> uh i don't even know the easiest way to get down there and in fact yeah it's becoming nighttime let me uh let me break in down here actually let me sleep real quick we'll break in right here let me make sure i got a way to get out of here well i will have so Okay, looking pretty safe. Definitely don't want to fall down there. All right, this is what it looks like inside. Now I'm not sure whether I'm going to utilize this space or not. And this here is another one that goes down pretty far. But uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to utilize this space or or what I'm going to do here. Whatever kind of tunnel or whatever that I have coming down. Yeah, see that's... It just looks not completed up there, but it looks good from the inside. So that's fine. Anyway, so here's the center, obviously. Right there. So if I had a thing where I pushed a button and that pulled out and then off to the side, I could drop down there. Or, let's see, where did I come in there? Like I was mentioning, it would be kind of in this back corner here. This would be an okay corner to do that in. Um, build some sort of a mechanism where I can just basically come down there and then maybe, you know, stairs going down. I don't know. I don't know how much of this mountain here I'm going to leave or if I'm going to take it all out. Not sure yet. I'd like to take it all out be because of the... Uh, the dramatic effect of it. Um, but that would be an awful lot of work. <laughs> and that's okay. I mean, I'm not afraid of hard work. 
you know I've done some pretty hard projects in the past get rid of that skeleton there so yeah next step I'm not quite sure about but you know we'll work on it and uh, we will uh, see what we can do and I can't get in there I gotta come down here all right and that's a hundred percent again so like I say I'm not sure whether I'm going to uh, have a little drop thing here or like a little button here to drop in or maybe open up some stairs I want it to be pretty well hidden uh, and that's that's kind of what with this here I'm not sure how I would open it uh, without having something nearby you know like a button on the wall or on the floor or something and you go oh hey what does that do click and then this opens up I would almost prefer to have maybe a I might bring this wall out one more well I was thinking I could bring this wall out one more take this brick out or maybe even the bottom brick and have a trip wire going across there and that might not be completely noticeable trip the trip wire this opens up and I walk into it that's possible yeah or I'll probably do something really simple and just you know put stairs right here going down either way uh, we'll save that for uh, a little bit longer here um, not sure what else I need to do like I said I do have a couple of huge projects that I want to work on this is one of them uh, to store every item in game uh, have have a large chest full of every item in game now y you understand the difficulty of that is that would be like a large chest of diamonds stacks of diamonds that would be a large chest stack of uh, diamond blocks I mean that having that many diamonds in game would be insane I would be working on this for <laughs> years but it is possible um, whether or not I want to go to that extent or not I don't know but I want to have as much as I can and I have it in an archive I've never done that before and I think it'll be pretty cool so I think I'm gonna try that you know what I might do oh, I can't take that wall out can I yep that's where I thought it went and I can't take can I take that out hmm there's an idea see those were there ah uh, oops there's stairs here and that would leave an opening I don't know if I can do the one behind that one aha uh -huh. look at there so we'll leave you we'll leave you we'll leave you and you I think I might have just found my access and put stairs here I would love to have like a double piston door but if I go out any farther I'm actually outside I'm pretty sure let me break one block and see where it goes yep 
Yep. Outside. Okay. But this would work. Do I have stairs on me? I do. And I've got nothing else I can attach to. Okay. Let me drop down here again. Get ready for a firefight. Wow. I think that'll work. Okay. Let's see. Put that there. Put that there. Well, that gets me what I need. So I think we've gotten a lot of work done today. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it. And uh, we'll save it until uh, next episode. But uh, we'll finish it out then. And uh, we'll get a whole lot of digging done. Oh, oh well. Got to be done, right? So, <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you all next time. Bye.